Hey, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, we're going to talk about translate.google.com. So I want you to go into your browser at the top and type in translate.google.com, as you can see there. So this is a little different than the Google Translate extension. There are some things that you can do with it that make it pretty useful in certain situations. So if you need to communicate with a student, you could simply type in your phrases here. You can also use a microphone. But let's say we wanted to translate something to Spanish. You could say something like, hi, how are you today? And it will translate that into the other language. You can choose the languages from the drop-down menu over here on the right-hand side. And there are a lot of different languages to choose from. Over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see an icon there that looks like a microphone. And that's going to enable you to do speech-to-text and that will take your English, whatever you're saying in English, and that will then translate it into another language. You have to watch out for that. It's not always the most accurate depending on background noise. So if you're having a lot of background noise in class, it might be better just to type into the box if you need to translate something that you're trying to communicate with a student. Another really powerful tool that you can use with this translate.google.com would be this documents button right here. So if you click on that documents button, what it allows you to do is find a document that's already on your computer somewhere, saved in one of these file formats, and it will translate that pretty accurately into another language. So I'm gonna hit browse my computer or browse your computer. I'm gonna go over here and find something that we could use as an example. Let's take a look at this food chains. Open that up. Okay, so I put that in there, and then I'm going to say, let's, let's do it to maybe a, a language that's not as common. Let's say Haitian Creole. So I'd go here and I'd hit Translate. It'll pop up here, and you can see now it is translated into Haitian Creole. And one thing you might notice is the pictures don't always come through on the translated version. You can see that the pictures are, there's kind of like an error message here with the pictures. They're not showing up. But it pretty much did keep the format intact of the original document. So it didn't move everything around and kind of change the way it looks graphically on the page. It kind of kept that intact, but it was able to translate that into the, the new language. So if you're working with a student that's learning English, you could have this version where they can go back and forth between the version in their native language versus the version that's in English, and they'll be able to use those to compare. So this is one more option that you have of translating this document. You can translate these documents in Word itself, but the problem with that is some of these languages, such as the one I, I picked for this example, Haitian Creole, you can't find within Word if you try to translate it that way. So this is another workaround that doesn't take that long to do, really, if you think about it. It's pretty fast. If you bring this up, you click on Documents, you look for the document on your computer, and with a couple more clicks, it's translated to that language for that student. So that's just one more tool that you have at your disposal to help those students and make sure that you're meeting their, their language needs. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me through email at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.